the enzyme is beta galactosidase the gene which is responsible to make it lag z a lag z gene if you remember when we talked about gene expression regulation in gene expression if you remember operon concept lag operon in which you might have heard about this lag z gene lag z gene is responsible to make beta galactosidase Now this beta galactosidase is very much essential. Whereby, what does it do? Is a beta galactosidase breaks down a chromogenic substance. What is that substance? What is exgal? So exgal, usual color of exgal is white, right? The moment beta galactosidase it breaks down the exgal, it converts into a blue color residue. So that is a white and blue over here. Now what happens is this particular you know puc vector plasmid university of california now when you talk about we are using puc vector over here now in this puc vector we have got this selectable marker and that marker is a gene which produces lag z that means beta galactosidase over here now this lag z gene is actually having you know a restriction site that means a restriction at the nucleus can work on this lag z gene the moment this restriction enzyme is going to cleave lag z gene it becomes inactive now upon the cleavage of this gene we are inserting the foreign dna and that is how we are going to make a recombinant a foreign dna is being inserted over here whereby a recombinant dna or a clone gene can be made now what is happening over here is the moment that comes into picture lag z gene is non functional that is inactivated whereby the lag z gene this right does not make a beta galactosidase which will not be able to break down this chromogenic substance exgal and finally there won't be any blue color however it's going to be white color so whenever white color colonies are formed we get to know that we have got a proper screening however in the other thing if it is not been inserted properly then it is actually breaking it it is not breaking it down whereby you will find a so that is what it is